Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Time, my movie fans. We have a review for you guys of Lupin, Season 2, Episode 1. Now, I think instead of doing a whole season all at once, I'm just going to watch an episode, think about it, then review it. That way, it's better. I think it's better that way. You know what I'm saying? Easier to digest. In the videos, if you want to follow along, that'll be great. Hey, announcement, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my new posting days for you guys. Also, you can email me with any questions or discussion topics that I'm trying to figure out a new day for uh, at uh, movietime.inc at gmail.com, okay? And then also have an Instagram account for movietime.inc, okay? Just put a little at symbol. You, you know the little the little thingy and just do that and then you'll follow me that way you can see what's coming down the pipeline get ahead so you can get a thoughts you know what, what what's coming down what i'm going to be talking about and everything okay let's get into this episode one lupin now we pick up right where we left off at the end of season one they're on the train right and they're on the way to this lupin event on the beach the kid gets lost right but they encountered this guy on the train who um, was sent by the person who killed Lupin or Asani's father, right? I think this is, I think he's French. Yeah, he's French. And uh, and so that's where we pick up off that. And he, you know, finds a car. He, get, he gets a car. Some cop dude who's been following him wants to him to go. He, you know, he's going to go with them. But, you know. Our protagonist doesn't know that and everything so i think that's kind of cool and uh and so they go on this journey this ride the wife is like why do i even trust you he's like yo i'm here i'm going about to handle business and then we see flashbacks of when they were younger him and his wife uh when they were kids i was trying to figure out like well what's going on here why are we seeing this flashback how does it correlate to what we're seeing now and my god dude it did. at the at the end I was like oh okay so that's so that's why it's 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 it was very it was very good it was it was it was really very good to see uh the flashback was them when they were kids about uh the violin she used to play violin she loved it she adored it and of course he adored her and uh they were her violin broke okay and um they had to go to a violinist store and to pick one up and um i guess they had some type of argument beforehand and he kind of just trailed behind her followed her and then the guy was going to rent it out to her i think for some sum of money i forget the amount but then he came up and said uh hey let's get it you know let's get this violin because this is what you want you know so he kind of you know with his father not being there there's no guidance really on how to handle and operate in the world and, and how to do things as a boy growing into a man and so some of his behavioral tendencies are still as a man as of a child you know what i'm saying so i think that's why we kind of see this flashback and now, since I'm talking about it, I'm kind of realizing it myself. So, hey, stay stay with me. And so, the shop owner doesn't want to give the violin to them because he's an immigrant and he's of color, right? And so, our guy goes, racist, and just walks off. And he talks to his best friend, and at the same time, this flashback is happening. He is in the car with the cop. Follows and tracks down the person who kidnapped his kid, right, to this town in this bar where um, happens to be a whole bunch of pale people who don't like people with uh, with flavor and substance, you know what I'm saying? Look a little bit, you know, got it going on for them, you know, racist people. And I forget where they are, but here we see uh, they, they end up at this castle scene, right, or this estate or whatever, and the kid that we see is shown in this estate, right? And so then we go back to the flashback 
and he he works into stealing the violin to the back door he gets it the shop owner comes back almost gets caught and then we see back to the modern day and he's fighting this guy he's tackling him down and he's getting him and he's getting this kid and he's he's searching for him he says where you at where you at you know in french or whatever and he's a big guy and this little dude is kicking his butt which really doesn't make any sense to me i still i still don't understand that logic you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this is a big guy and the guy who kidnapped him is very young but maybe i guess he's a skilled fighter but i really don't see that but the house scene is very tense it's very tense you don't know where they're at where they're gonna come at behind the corner so i did like that aspect and so then we go back to the flashback the violin is to the girl. She's playing at this concert or this uh, recital, I guess, right? And then we cut back to the main thing, and he beat the guy. He's looking for his kid, and and he said, you know, you should have looked in the car. The guy says the car on fire. I'm like, dude, jump out the window, go down there, and get your kid, right? But I, I mean, he could have broke his leg, so he had to go down the stairs. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I probably would have just jumped out the window, scaled my way down like a freaking Spider-Man to get my kid. First and foremost, I would have went down there when I threw that dude out the window and said, hey, man, where's my kid? I'm about to search all this house. You know where he's at. Stop playing around. You know what I'm saying? So that probably would have been a smarter move. So this guy's supposed to be really smart, but that wasn't really smart. So that's my only little thing with those other things. But then, you know, he lights the car on fire, and the car just engulfs in flame. And then, by the time he gets there, it explodes, and man, the kid's gone. Man. The kid, at least we think the kid's gone, but we thought the kid was in the house. But apparently, he got the kid down to the car. So I'm not too for sure. I, I, I don't know. Maybe the kid's somewhere else for leverage, but I do not know. And then we go back to the flashback, and there's cops coming to get the violin because it's not just no ordinary violin it's a very expensive exquisite violin that this kid stole he gave it to the girl and she doesn't know it and she's playing at this recital and then she gets taken he gets taken and it made sense i was like yo the kid died this is where his actions lead to when they're together and she's just always caught in it i was just like yo wow we man that's so it was really good. That's a really good first episode of Lupin Season 2. I do like foreign films, guys. And anime. Okay. So, there you have it. If you like it, the video. Like the video. Comment the video. Sub to the channel. And hit the little bell icon thing. Uh, guys, I don't, I don't know how to get the little... I wish I could... You know, the little symbol things. I, you know, I'm not too fancy yet. I'm not too fancy yet, but I'm, I'm here for you guys, okay? That's it for today. You guys, enjoy your weekend. Move time for